if there was a nest game here, I could show y'all exactly how, oh, oh, here it comes. Okay, watch out. Okay, there it is. Send it home Send it home, baby Hello guys, Spazzy W here, your Arkansas picker And I just got off work, that's why I'm in this nasty, dirty orange shirt But I thought this would be the best way to show you what I'm about to do Because I'm doing it on my way home Um I want to show y'all how to build a very cheap gaming shelf. And by gaming shelf, I just mean a shelf to keep all of your games on. I want this shelf to be able to hold all my PS2 games, all my PS3 games, all my PS4 games, Xbox games, Nintendo games, everything. I want this one shelf to be able to hold all of my games. But I don't want to spend a lot of money. When you're talking about building an eight foot by six foot shelf, look up an eight foot by six foot shelf on Amazon. You're gonna see $100, $150, $200, there's no telling. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to try to build one for under $50. I might get right at $50, but we're gonna try to build this shelf for under $50 and I'm gonna show you how. To Home Depot! Rained like crazy like the past five minutes it just poured rain i had oh loud truck lady i had to uh i had to wait my truck for a minute for the rain to calm down all right let's get us a cart and let's start shopping we are right where we need to be let's see here So the first thing we need is three two by fours that are eight feet long, two by four. Okay, it's not these, it's these right here. These are two by fours and they're right under eight feet tall. We need three of these. Now you see this big old gap right here? This middle one I picked up is bent. So we're gonna X nail that. There we go. That's way better. Now I need some one by twos. Right here are some one by twos, but these are select pine, which means they are $10 each. That is not what I'm here to buy. Oh, I think this is it right here. No. Yeah, that's it. These are uh, our one by twos. These are eight foot strips. I really only need six foot, but that's fine. We'll cut them, no big deal. Oh, these look fun. These are important because this is what my uh, games are gonna actually be sitting on. I gotta have to lay these out like so to make sure that they lay flat on the ground. If they're bent this way, it's not a big deal, but they need to lay flat on the ground when I set them like that. And I need 11 of these. Ooh. See this boy right here? That's a no-go. Like I said, if it's bent, it's okay. But this big crack is not okay. I wasn't gonna record me getting the rest of these because it's pretty redundant. But I wanna show y'all this. Look at this. That's how bent that is, look. Awful. All right. I have 11 of these that I have deemed worthy of going in my room. The last thing I need to get are some L brackets. Uh, I'll go grab those and we'll be good to go. Okay, L brackets, uh, little bitty ones. That's all I need, little bitty ones like this. Um, let's see if I do two on each, one, two, I'll do three on each. That'll make more sense. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, well, they come in fours, but we're just gonna go ahead and get uh, three of them, which will be 12. That's fine, I'll spend a little extra money. They're $2.52 each. Hopefully they don't put us over our little uh, our little $50 budget here. But this is it, guys. I am ready to take it up front. Hello. How many of these we got? 11. 4911. 4911 at a $50 budget. Wow. I know. How fancy am I? $49.11. I said I wanted to spend under $50, and by golly, I did it. All right, guys, we are home. And uh, yes, I had a wardrobe change because um, I was nasty and gross from work. That even though I'm about to be doing manual labor building shelves, I had to take a shower because that's how disgusting I was. But um, anyways, the first thing we're going to have to do is... Um, Move this stuff right here. This stuff right here, this is um, PS2 and Xbox games and Xbox 360 games and blah, 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 blah. This is my eBay shelf. I'm gonna have to move all of this somewhere else because the shelves I'm building are gonna go right here. So let's just... Ta-da! It is empty and gone. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the studs, mark them, put L brackets on the two by fours, and then throw the two by fours up. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, I got a few X's on the wall where I'm going to put the screws. Now I'm just gonna show me putting the L brackets on the two by fours. It's nothing special, but it's it's something that I gotta do. Okay, and just an FYI, I need, I need to say this. I don't know why I didn't say this at the very beginning. I am not a carpenter. I am not a builder. This is not what I do. This is just stuff that I've picked up from my dad, my father-in-law, my uncle, my stepdad. This is literally my first time building this style of shelf. Um, so you're gonna see me mess up and I'll probably just leave it in. You'll see me do something wrong and back out and have to do it again, realign something. It's probably gonna happen, um, just to let y'all know. But anyways, let me show you this. So here's the first L bracket, and look, I had to put B at the bottom of these so I didn't forget which one's the bottom. Um, here's the L bracket at the bottom. Now the bottom L bracket and the top L bracket are 68 inches um, apart. So I put an L bracket at 32 inches in the middle, and then here's this guy up here. So um, I've done that, and then I've marked this and this and I did that for all of them and I'm just gonna have to go in here and put these L brackets on also one more other thing whenever I bought all this lumber you didn't see me buy screws because I didn't because I was like I got screws at home well the thing about that is I do have screws at home but if you look at this you can barely see it there's a little black dot right there that's the screw almost coming through this wood um, my screws were just long enough to not go through this. So, um, yeah, you might want to get some shorter screws. Actually, this longer screws will hold in better. But just for, uh, you know, cosmetic reasons, you should probably not try to poke through the side of your board. Anyways, let me put on the rest of these, and then I will put them on the wall. <laughs> All right. 
the real test is going to be trying to hang them and see how that goes. Like I said, not a carpenter. So these are uh, generally where they're gonna go. Uh, the funny thing about it is, it's not gonna be touching the floor. So I'm gonna have to hold it up with my foot like this. So I can see the X, so I can get this on the X and get it screwed in. <laughs> see that footwork? Okay, so the two by fours are on the wall. Now, if you notice, I'm looking directly in front of this one right now and it's leaning that way. That's because my L brackets are on this side, okay? Now, this one's leaning that way and this one leans that way, but this one leans this way. Now, I prepared for this. I have a fix for this. Whenever we start putting our shelves on, we're gonna put one on here we're gonna nail it here and here, and then we'll pull it this way, and we'll pull this one this way, and then we'll nail it in, and that should make it flush. That's not the perfect way to do this, but that's how I'm gonna do it. This is what we're gonna be putting there, but obviously it is way too long. It's eight feet long. So I'm gonna measure this out. Uh, I'm gonna cut this. I actually have to cut 11 of these, so I'm gonna go do that real quick. I'm, I'm not gonna record it because it's getting dark. I need to do it as fast as I can. So let me go do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back from cutting all of my lumber up. Um, I had Shelby mark it while I was cutting. We made a great team. We got it cut in no time. Um, here's this. I've already put one board on here. This is not staying here. It's not measured or anything. I just put it here to pull these together. I'm gonna start at the bottom and go up and you'll probably see me with this. What I'm gonna do, this is eight inches exactly. So I'll put one on the bottom, put this here, mark this, and then I will just keep doing that and keep doing that and keep doing that. And that is uh, just to keep me straight because my measuring is not always the best, but I know this is exactly eight inches and I can just use it going all the way up. This is probably gonna be a long one, so y'all hold tight, listen to the beautiful music. It's, it's too far gone now anyways so um i'm done and are you ready for the big reveal Man, da, 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 da. bam brand new shelves unlimited supply okay not unlimited but i can put a lot on here um yeah, so um, the studs were here, here, and here, obviously. So I had to leave this open, but I'm fine because it's stable enough that I feel comfortable putting games on it. And if I get the chance to tonight, I'll actually show you with the games on it. Um, I wonder how uh, stable it is. <laughs> Pretty stable. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you build some shelves right there. Are they pretty? No, they're not. Will they hold games? Well, let's find out. There we go. Oh, what'd you say? Did you just ask me what about Sega games? Oh, okay. What else? Wait, what else you want to know about? You want to know about uh, Nintendo VHS tapes? Is that what you're wondering about? Hmm? 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 Is that what you're wondering about? But Brandon, what about PS1 games? 
Oh, I don't know. What about PS1 games, huh? Look, I can even put them way up there. But Brandon, what about SNES games? What about a SNES game? Hmm? What about it? It's there, ain't it? If there was a NES game here, I could show y'all exactly how... Oh, okay, here it comes. Okay, watch out. Okay, there it is. <laughs> NES game? Hello? Oh, what's your next question? What about Game Boy games? Well, let me show you. All right, guys, this is uh, this is it with a few games on it. This still isn't um, everything I own. This is just some stuff I had in the room. I still have boxes that I gotta get unpacked because the moving process has taken about a, a whole month and I'm still unboxing stuff. Anyways, PS4 games, PS2 games, uh, NES, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to keep this empty. I'm going to try to put stuff that I'm selling on eBay or Facebook or whatever. I'm going to try to put them all down here. So check this out. This is 40 games. 40 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So just this column right here, that's 360 games. This column's wider and this column's a little bit skinnier. So let's just round down and let's say each one holds 300. That is almost a thousand games that could be held on this shelf and it was $50. And I made it with these, man, with these. All right, guys, well, there you go. $50 shelf, uh, about a thousand games altogether that can be held on it. Y'all follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see pictures of my shelves. I love you guys. I'm Spezzy W, your Arkansas picker. Y'all keep picking. Will you shut the up?